Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. And in this video, we'll focus on installing and configuring engines on the Ubuntu Linux server um, and then also run our web application. Uh, the steps we will take is install engines on Ubuntu Linux 16.04. I'll show you what uh, needs to be configured and then we'll start engines, which is a, a very lightweight web server. The same as Apache. Then uh, we'll create this, a service for the application itself. It's a .NET Core web application. And uh, then I will show you how to start um, the web server and get it up and running. So let's jump into um, Ubuntu. Okay, inside Ubuntu, let's log in. This is a virtual machine. And um, we'll do the following steps. Okay, um, you need to open Terminal. And inside terminal, what we first want to do always need to run your update first. And when that is done, sudo apt get install engines yes and then um, what we can do sudo service engines start And that I uh, just uh, changed that start to status, and you can see it's up and running. Okay, so what we want to do now, um, clear normally just clears the screen. Sudo nano engines. Um, just to make sure, I just want to go to ex e um, etc engines to see exactly where that is. Um, so we want to access this sites available default. There is already a um, server start and listening on uh, port 80. Also, also, always listen for HTTP listens on port 80. Now, I'm going to be lazy and, and copy in here from um, a script, but I'm going to have to explain what happens here. This is just setting up the proxy because this is actually what uh, engines or it's just a proxy of um, hosting the web application. So the proxy will pass. So this is where the application normally um, runs is host. If you if you run your application, it will run on localhost um, port 5000. So you need to tell Nginx that this is where it needs to listen on that proxy for the application. And that's basically the configuration changes you make inside this file. And you save it. Okay, next what we want to do. Um, now, if you watch the previous video on, on uh, .NET Core, um, you'll know that uh, we created an application under um, the folder dev. And, but what, what, what we want to do is we want to go to where we can to publish um, this. Now, the normal place to publish anything on a, an Ubuntu server, um, when you install uh, either Apache or Nginx, um, you, you, still, you install, you load your applications under var slash www. Now, if I'm just going to say make directory 
um, my web app is going to give me a, a permission error, so I need to set the permissions first. Okay, and to do that is I have just um, typed it incorrectly earlier. Just redoing this part of it. You can see there was a mistake there. And now if I run make directory, you'll see I've got my directory in there. Okay, now that we have our root directory, um, we need to create now a service. I'm just pasting what I what I have in there, and my web app app dot service. This indicates that I am creating a new service now, and I'm going to add some details to that. Okay, so let's start typing here. So unit description is my .NET core web app so it's just a normal web app um, then we start with um, the service itself the service working directory um, is going to be important the one that we just created and it's uh, var. You can have it anywhere on your server, but this is probably the, the the right place to have this. And my web app. And then where does it need to start? What is that um, application um, DLL going to look like? So. so First, it needs to know where the .NET libraries are to execute. So it's normally in the burn user burn .NET, and then you give your uh, var. What am I doing? Um, my web app and my web app dot dll um, we can confirm that later let's just start always and i'm going to just uh, paste the rest in here just um, to make this quicker let's call this uh, my web app just to give it an identity and then save. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to enable our new service that we just created, uh, system CTL, and our service name is web my web app dot service. Um, enable okay so it created a link for that the next thing you need to, to do here is you need to start it okay we had no error so we can uh, look at the status that failed so obviously there was a problem because we haven't uh, published it so what am I thinking so to dev go to my web app and this the command we need to put in here is dot net publish um, minus C release output is um, for www dot um, my web app I think this is lowercase c. See, I make mistakes as well, but I'm going to leave it in here. I'm not going to take it out. Um, so now what we can do 
is we need to be able to start our web app our service and let's look at the status now you can see it's active okay so so now it's running in the background so you can uh, close down you don't have to start it and build, build it like like the first video you can go to um, open Firefox here and we'll run localhost 5000 and there your web app is running um, so thank you for for watching the next step what we need to do we need to set up a reverse proxy so that you can access this web application from another machine and I'll create another video for that thanks for watching and please subscribe please uh, share my videos if you feel this has helped you as well. Thank you very much.